Tu vois cette petite machine Eh ben c'est peut-être ce qui pourrait t'empêcher de mourir de chaud dans ton appart en 2050. J'ai rencontré son créateur pour comprendre comment son innovation pourrait rendre la clim moins énergivore. The problem with traditional air conditioners is that uh, they dissipate the heat from the inside to the outside when it's the hottest. And the hotter it is outside, the more energy is needed to dissipate this heat actually. And also air conditioners are creating for example urban heat islands around their outdoor units. So every time it's getting hotter, the more en energy and electricity they use. We change this heat dissipation cycle. So during the day, we capture the heat and we store it inside of our device in our own developed phase changing material. When the material is cold, it's solid. And when you put in the heat, it's going to liquid. This is allowing us to actually put in huge amounts of heat without increasing really the temperature of it. In the night, there's no cooling needed and nobody is in the offices. And this is the moment where we release the heat in form of latent heat. So the heat can vanish and dissipate naturally and we do not need um, electricity the traditional air conditioners are using where you really like need to push the heat outside when it's the hottest. And if you don't need to use air conditioner then don't. We are fine with some fans, some evaporative coolers, just opening the windows but in many places this is not the solution anymore because the moment the indoor uh, temperature is going above 36 degrees for example it's very dangerous for your body so we give you a solution that consumes less electricity. We have 40% less electricity than current solutions that are there.